Oh, I have had a really big day today. Hmm. Wonder if Thomas had a big day as well. Come on, let's go ask him. Hmm. Yep. It looks like he did. Hello everyone and welcome to the third episode of LEGO Fan 65's Childhood Inn. Now for today, I think we take some time to look at a big day for Thomas. And I'm going to say something to you right now. This is not my very first official copy of A Big Day for Thomas. This is actually my third copy. Let me explain. Okay, so now it's time to talk about where did I first see this release and how did I get it. There's something funny here with this one. I actually saw it the day I got it. Let me explain. Okay, so it's 2008 and I'm at Walmart with my dad. We walk over to the DVD section, and there is a big day for Thomas in the two DVD pack with Trust Thomas. I ask my dad, hey, can I get this? And he says yes. So, yippee, Thomas surprise. Okay, and to be quite honest with you, I have no idea where this DVD pack is. I do remember, though, when you opened the cover, there was a side for each release. One side was for Trust Thomas, and the other side was for a big day for Thomas. And I saw Trust Thomas first because that disc was shown as soon as you opened it. Anyway, we will cover this release in a future episode. Anyway, back to a big day for Thomas. Okay, so we already know that the very first copy was that DVD pack with Trust Thomas. Now let's talk about the second copy. Well, it's 2008 and I'm with my mother at Toys R Us. May that store rest in peace. Anyway, so we go to the Thomas and Friends DVD section, and there is a big day for Thomas with a wooden train box set. And I ask my mother, hey, can I get this? And I'm not sure if she already knew that I owned this release, but she says yes anyway. Okay, so the first time I watched this, I think this was at a Rushville birthday party. It was mainly a party for adults, so I was the only kid there. Fortunately, they gave me a laptop for entertainment, and there was a DVD player on the laptop. So I put a big day for Thomas in there, and I'm watching it. So... Yippee! Entertainment for a four-year-old me. Okay, so unlike that two DVD pack where I said I don't remember where it is, I actually remember where the one I got from Toys R Us is. It's at my grandmother's house in Versailles. And I just wanted to get this one because on YouTube I had seen many YouTubers showing their Thomas and Friends DVD collection having a thick case on a big day for Thomas instead of a thin case. Also, fun fact, I actually got this DVD at the same exact Toys R Us. Okay, now before we put this in the player, there's one more thing I want to show you. In this case is a one-page booklet. Alright, so basically inside this booklet, we have our menu, pick a story, sort of spell a game, we'll cover that eventually, sing-along songs too, actually, and a character gallery as usual. And on the back, there were advertisements for other releases and books that were coming out at the same time. Also, a pamphlet like this was also on my Thomas Gets Tricked DVD, but I forgot to show it. So, here's that pamphlet, and as you can see, same exact thing. So, yeah. I always judge Thomas and Friends DVDs if they had a pamphlet or not. Okay, after all that being said, let's head over to the player and see what's on this treasure troll. Okay, now if you were an American fan and you collected Thomas and Friends DVDs back in the day, and when you put them in the player, there was one advertisement that everybody got used to. There would always be the same exact advertisement for upcoming Thomas and Friends releases to put in your collection. I had most of these, and we're going to take a look at all of them one at a time. I don't know why I didn't mention this in the last two episodes. I guess I just wanted to talk about what was more important on the release. 
Okay, so on this release, we have some episodes from season one. Some we have covered, some we have not. We have a big day for Thomas, Percy runs away, Thomas breaks the rules, Henry special Cole, the flying kipper, trouble for Thomas, and Toby the tram engine. All narrated by... Not Ringo Starr. It's actually George Carlin this time. Hmm, new narrator. Now, if you've seen my Thomas Gets Tricked episode, you would know that I prefer Ringo Starr's narration for season one because he was the first narrator of the show, and he gave the show good narration qualities to begin with. And I do like George Carlin's narration. I'm not as big of a fan of it as many Thomas fans are, but he's good. He's not bad. Actually, I found a fun fact about George. Whenever he was in a recording studio producing episodes, he was afraid of being in the studio alone, so Britt decided to put a giant stuffed teddy bear in the room with him. Okay, so what's my favorite episode on the release? It's Thomas Breaks the Rules, because I had gotten the Thomas Breaks the Rules VHS a little while back, and it was narrated by Ringo Starr. But I was excited to have this episode on DVD now. So, yay! So for my least favorite episode, I think it's Trouble for Thomas, because there are numerous reasons why. One, why would Edward give Thomas his job when he should know better than to do that, because he knows that's his assignment? Also, why would Thomas's driver decide to stop in the middle of Gordon's Hill? But that's just my opinion, and there are no other reasons why it's my least favorite episode, but if I listened to them all, we'd be here all day. So let's move on. One flaw about this DVD would have to be a little bit of the episode ordering. Well, most of it's pretty good, but it just doesn't make sense why Thomas Breaks the Rules is shown before Toby the Tram Engine, when really it should be the other way around. But other than that, this episode ordering is pretty good in my opinion. Now let's talk about its bonus features. We obviously have a character gallery, and oh, two sing-along songs this time. We have Toby and Sir Topham Head. And to be quite honest with you, I think Toby is better than Sir Tom Head because Toby, in my opinion, has a little more of a tune to it than what Sir Topham Hat did. And for the bonus DVD game, we have the Sodor Spelling Game, which is basically where you have to spell the engine's name right. Okay, now before I wrap things up by saying if I would recommend this release for your kid or not, there's something on the back that you need to see. There is a promotional shot for the Season 4 episode, Train Stops Play. This episode has never been on an American Thomas DVD, ever. The only Thomas American release that has this episode on it is the 1995 VHS, Thomas Meets the Queen and Other Stories. As you can see, the episode is listed right there. And we will cover this in a future episode, and it will be special. Anyway, back to the big day for Thomas. Would I recommend this release for your kids? Yes, I would recommend it. I know, I know, it may seem a little contrived considering that I've said I like Ringo Starr's narration for season one better than George Carlin's, and I complained that Thomas Breaks the Rules comes before Toby the Tram Engine, but here's the thing. This release is very nostalgic to me, and along with Trust Thomas, that DVD pack was the very first two Thomas DVD release I ever gotten in my life. And I'm very sad that I do not have that release anymore. But I'm glad that I have the two DVDs back again on separate releases so I can cover them in separate episodes. Now, here's the thing. My personal goal for the end of this month is to reach 50 subscribers. Trevor Davis, if you know anyone in person who is a Thomas fan, please have them see this. Also, anyone else who is watching, please show this with all your friends. Share this with your friends as friends. Share them with your parents, share them with your grandparents, share them with anybody you know. Please, I know we can do it. We need to reach 50 subscribers before February ends. I know we can do that. Anyway, that wraps up the third episode of LEGO Fan 65's Childhood Inn. Speaking of special, something definitely special will be on the next episode. We will be discussing about the greatest Thomas and Friends DVD box set ever made. We will be talking about the early years, the complete first season of Thomas and Friends. Tune in next week and you'll find out about the surprises I had with this release. Anyways, good night everybody and stay safe.